Here is another sample probability calculation from a pedigree showing X-linked inheritance. The question states, Lena is pregnant with her first child. Her maternal grandfather had hemophilia. Her partner Leon's paternal uncle also had hemophilia. What is the probability that their child will have hemophilia? So this is from class where we were talking about hemophilia A and remember that hemophilia A is X-linked recessive. Let's start by drawing the pedigree. We draw a circle for Lena because she's female and her partner is Leon and we draw a square. Let's start with Lena's side. We show her parents and in the question it says her maternal grandfather, that means her grandfather on her mom's side, which we've shown here and we've colored in that square so it's black because the grandfather showed the trait of hemophilia A. So that is her maternal grandfather. On Leon's side, these are Leon's parents, and it says Leon's paternal uncle. What that means is the uncle on his dad's side. So that's his dad's brother as shown here. And again, the black square means that that person shows the trait of hemophilia A. So that's the paternal uncle. And we will draw Leon's grandparents on his dad's side. Leon is pregnant and that shows the baby. We do not know the sex of the baby, so we draw a diamond. Let's label the genotypes. So the maternal grandfather on Lena's side, the paternal uncle on Leon's side uh, are both X star, meaning that they have that mutation and Y. So the question asks, what is the probability the child will have hemophilia. Well, in order for that to happen, the child has to be X with the mutation Y or has to have two X mutations if the child is female. So let's just take a look at what's possible. So jump to Leon's side. We know that Leon's dad and Leon are just XY. They don't have the trait. They don't have that hemophilia mutation on the X chromosome. So we can actually ignore that side of the pedigree for following the hemophilia mutation on the X chromosome, following that transmission through the pedigree. And so the baby having XX is actually impossible. It's impossible for the baby to get a mutation on the X chromosome from both the mother's side and the father's side. So for our probability equation, we are only looking at the genotype of X with the hemophilia mutation and Y. So in order for the child to have hemophilia, the child would need to be male. So this is our probability equation. The probability the child is X with the mutation Y. The way we get that is we get look at the probability the child gets X with the mutation from mom times the probability the child gets Y from dad. So let's start on the mom side. We know that Lena's mom is a carrier. So we have to calculate the chance that that hemophilia mutation on that X chromosome was passed to Lena and then the chance it was passed to Lena's child. For each of these, there's a one half chance. That's because there's two options and one gets passed on from the gamete. So let's transfer this over to our equation. We need two fractions here because there's two transmission events. We put a time symbol in between because they both have to happen. So now let's look on Leon's side. We're calculating the chance the child gets a Y from Leon, from its dad, and that is one half because either the X or the Y will pass on we have to calculate this because if the X passes on, the child would be a female, it could be a carrier, but it's impossible for the child to have hemophilia if Leon passes the X on. So we have one equation, sorry, one fraction we add to our equation. We have to multiply it because they all have to happen. And then the answer to this question is one over eight.